Hello, everyone. I'm Stephen West. This is Philosophize This. We heard last time that Ortega asked us to consider our existence not in terms of being immersed in circumstances, but instead to consider the idea that you actually are your circumstances. Well, quick thought experiment here. No matter how old you are, one way to see yourself is as a collection of moments sprinkled across time. What I mean is, Last week you stubbed your toe on a chair, and now you have a little cut on your toe. That's a part of you. You grew up in England. That's a part of you. You got married at the age of 23. That's a part of you. I just mean that who you are is a complex aggregate of moments and decision points that have gone on over the course of your life. These things come together to define you in many ways. I mean, again, you are your circumstances, right? Well, think of a moment in your childhood that has had an impact on who you are as an individual all the way up until right now. Jose Ortega might ask, what really is the difference between that moment in the history of your life and any other moment in history? Say, the founding of the country that you grew up in. I mean, in many ways, you could say that the founding of the country that you grew up in has had a much greater impact on who you are than almost every event of your life. Hopefully, it's obvious where Ortega's starting to go with all this. So many people think the events of their lives define who they are, and that the things that happened in the past are a totally separate timeline of events. Things that just happened to a bunch of strangers who used to be alive. Optional reading. History is a repository of the unlived memories that make up who you are. Jose Ortega says, quote, Every concept referring to human life is a function of historical time. End quote. Meaning that to understand who you are, to understand anything human for that matter to Ortega, is to understand the history that underlies the thing. And for sure, we have the events of our life, and they're very near and dear to us, and we've experienced them directly. But we have to acknowledge the reality that every human life is a life, quote, enclosed between other lives which come before or which are to come, end quote. This is a different way of viewing the existence of a person, through the lens of what he calls an autonomous historical agent, rather than viewing people through the lens of biological natural selection, a very physical realm. A lot of scientists and philosophers during the time of Ortega that thought that the key to understanding the human being or individual people was going to lie in understanding some kind of human nature that was at the foundation of it all. But Ortega wasn't buying this. He was extremely skeptical of what he called the, quote, terrorism of the laboratory. Stop being so fixated on trying to find the nature of everything empirically. Maybe you can find the nature of physical objects that way, but not people. Human beings don't have a nature, Ortega said. They have a history. To understand individual consciousnesses, including your own, you have to understand your position and orientation on the continuum of history. 